Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Life Me Easy. And today, I'm going to start off this video by asking you, how many of you have been going on YouTube and searching how to game share on Xbox One? As you can see from vidIQ statistics, this is a very highly searched topic. And I can see right here that all these people right here are not posting the proper tutorials. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it for real. The real easy steps. Don't listen to these guys right here, especially this one right here. Don't listen to him. So I'm going to be bringing you actual update tutorial. First, I need to clear some space because Fortnite needs 13 gigs of additional storage. Their updates are massive now, so let's hop right into it. Hey guys, so um, I'm going to be showing you this uh, tutorial. Very straightforward, and I'm also going to be discussing some of the most asked questions I get when it comes to game sharing. Uh, number one, you can do a max of three game shares per year. Um, I think it's still... I think they still have this policy. So that means you can basically game share with three people in a certain year. And then after that year is done, you can do it with three different people. So basically, their Xbox is kind of limiting you on how many times you can do this. Because obviously, I think they're going to catch on um, and realize that you're just trying to game share a million times. So you get three in a year. After that, um, you have to wait. And then you can do it again. So very straightforward. Also... When it comes to game sharing um, and you actually complete it you can sign back into your account and then just go to um, ready to install and all those games you can download now here's a caveat caveat um, these have to be digital downloads so if someone has a game that they own on a disc even though it's downloaded to their hard drive on their Xbox you cannot download it so I get that asked a ton you have to this has to be a digital game that you want to share with your friend or something. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm currently streaming my Xbox to my laptop, and I'm going to show you how to do this as simply as possible in 2019. Make this very straightforward because I've already made a tutorial on this, and I got a gazillion questions, so I'm going to make this even more straightforward. Here we go. Step one. Okay, um, what do we want to do? Go to the settings icon. And this is going to be just a little delayed just because I'm streaming it, obviously. Um, so, settings. Okay, and then you're going to go down to personalization. You're going to start out an account. Just go down one. Go to personalization. Go to my home Xbox. Oh, I'm sorry. Before you do any of this, you have to sign into your friend's account. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, so, go over. Go to switch profile. Ticket of wall 135. I'm going to sign into this one. Okay, so after you enter, you're, you usually ask you for your uh, password for that Microsoft account. You put email and password. To ask your friend to text you this. Uh, makes it easy. Uh, type it in. You can sign into their account. Make sure you have consent to sign in their account. Do not go hacking people's accounts to do this. So go down to personalization. Go to my home Xbox. Let that load up. And then here it's going to say add this as my home Xbox. Um, if this is a new account, obviously I've used this one before. So um, this is telling me remove this as my, my home Xbox. I'm not going to do that. Um, so you want to click make this my home Xbox. Do that. Once you do that, another huge question that everyone asks me is like, what do you do after? Once you make this My Home Xbox, you can sign back into your account. It's okay to sign back into your account. So I'm going to go back over to my account and switch profile, go back to mine. And now I'm going to go to My Games and Apps. So right now I'm in my, let me go see all, I'm in my profile right now, okay? This is not the my friend's account, this is my account. So what you want to do here to actually install the game that you want to share is scroll down. I'm sorry, no. Go to games. Hit the right, um, not trigger, right bumper button on your Xbox to go over to ready to install. Ready to install. Okay. These are going to be all the games your friends own that you can download. Now. I'm pretty sure not all of these are digital downloads. Um, so you might want to ask your friend which one specifically is the digital download. Because um, that makes it a lot easier. 
So from here, you just go to any game, say like Call of Duty World War II you want to download or something. Um, you just click on that. Sorry, there's a bit of a delay still. And you just want to click install. So once you install it, you're all good. And that will be put onto your account. From there, you're fine. You don't have to do anything else. It's on your account permanently. You can play it um, permanently, basically. So, one thing that also people don't understand is you can use this method to actually share Xbox Live. Xbox doesn't really want you to know that, but you can, if someone has an Xbox Live membership and you make that as your home Xbox, you can share the benefits of Xbox Live. So, do with that what you will. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so you guys know exactly when I upload. Um, smash that like button, helps get this video out there. Let's make this top result show on the top search results so I get a lot of views on this, help people out there. And uh, yeah, go follow me on all my social media, guys. I'm gonna start a podcast soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.